Here's a quick little install video to install the remote starter on a Honda GX390 engine. First thing you're going to want to do is remove your airbox. Next, you're going to want to remove this spring, as well as this spring. You can take those out and just leave mine sitting there. And you're just going to loosen this off, turn, so it's going to move freely, and it's all ready. In the box, you'll find unit well as the remote so there's kind of two options to mount the throttle cable you can go on this side and out that way or you can go on this side and out that way sorry don't mind my dock what do you want on this unit, I'm going to mount it on this side. Place your cable. Take your clamp. Just let me tighten that down. Make sure your throttle's all the way to the Slowest position. Clamp the unit tight. As for the power ends, red and black are your supply for the unit. Orange and blue are your engine stop, and white is for your starter if you're attaching it to an electric start engine. If you are going to an electric start engine, what you're going to want to do is crimp a couple eyelets on the end. Once you get those crimped on there, locate your starter, remove the nut for 12 volt power. Put the cable on there. Put the nut back. ground. Any suitable place to ground here is an option. Up here. Once you get those on, you're going to want to remove your starter. Take the one end of your white spade connector and insert it in to there. So, take the other end, put it right back onto the back of the starter, and your blue and greens then, up here, you have a black wire, take it out, glue into the end there. Orange into this end. And it's completely installed.